Welcome back everybody. Good morning, good afternoon. Today we are going to be making cinnamon rolls with, this is actually an experiment, with a Longa Burger apple butter. I've been wanting to try this ever since I got it. I, I just think that apples and cinnamon work so well together. And I want you guys to see what I go through when I experiment and I try different things. Uh, and I think this is gonna come out pretty great. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna butter our pan. Anything that you like or see here, you can go ahead and select from the left or the right of your screen. We got the Lone Burger butter, which I, I've already tasted it and it's awesome, which is why I'm so excited to try this. And we also have our Lone Burger cutting board and our nice pot right here in the back. And we're going to be caramelizing some other apples. We're gonna be dicing up those apples and doing a caramelized chopped up apple finish on top of these cinnamon rolls. And I cannot wait. And the oven is set for 400 degrees. And we're gonna cook these for about anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. I diced up the apples into little cubes now. We're gonna go into our Longer Burger bowl. So our apples are just about caramelized. We hit it with our Longa Burger apple butter, a little bit of regular salted butter, just less than half a tablespoon. And then we just put our diced up apples in here with some brown sugar and a touch of bourbon. It's time for our cinnamon buns to go into the oven. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm just gonna let the food do the rest of the work. Now it's time to give it a try. This looks phenomenal. Get some apples and all that. This long burger apple butter. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. The way that this butter combines in with the bourbon, with those apples, then with our cream cheese glaze. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's, this is amazing. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It adds a whole other dynamic. Usually you just put the cream cheese glaze and you're done. This experiment, and this is why I do these things, was an absolute success. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning into another episode of Bell Daily. I hope you use this in your kitchen to share with your friends and your families, and we will see you next time.